respected audience assalamu alaikum i am professor shamsid jaman professor of pathology i welcome all in today's 24th lecture on systemic pathology today day 2 of diseases of respiratory system day 2 of diseases of respiratory system Dear audience, today's topic is chronic bronchitis. In day one of diseases of respiratory system, I have discussed about the emphysema of lung briefly. Today, chronic bronchitis. First, come to what is chronic bronchitis? A type of chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases characterized by persistent cough and expectoration. for at least 3 months in at least 2 consecutive years. Is known as chronic bronchitis. Dear audience, chronic bronchitis is one of the type of the chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases and it is characterized by persistent cough with expectoration and this persistent cough and expectoration for at least 3 months in 2 consecutive years and it is known as chronic bronchitis. Dear audience, now come to pathogenesis of chronic bronchitis. Irrespective of age, sex, working place and occupation, chronic bronchitis is 4 to 10 times common in cigarette smoker. Irrespective of is sex, occupation and working place. Chronic bronchitis is about 4 to 10 times common among cigarette smokers. Dear audience, such type of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease that is chronic bronchitis is more common among the cigarette smoker. Dear audience, cigarette smoke and infection has role for chronic bronchitis. cigarette smoke and infection has role for chronic bronchitis. Now come to role of cigarette smoke in chronic bronchitis. Cigarette smoke is associated with high 
हाइपर सिक्रेशन ऑफ सब म्यूकोसल म्यूसिन सिक्रेटिंग ग्लैंड इन ब्रोंकाई एंड ट्रैकिया एयर सिगरेट स्मोक इज एसोसिएटेड विद हाइपर सिक्रेशन ऑफ सब म्यूकोसल म्यूसिन सिक्रेटिंग ग्लैंड इन ब्रोंकाई एंड ट्रैकिया देर विल बी एक्सपेक्टोरेशन देर विल बी एक्सपेक्टोरेशन दैट इज प्रोडक्शन ऑफ स्पुटा production of sputum and this production of sputum is due to hyper secretion of submucosal mucin secreting glands of bronchi and trachea due to cigarette smoke cigarette smoke is associated with hyper secretion of submucosal mucin secreting glands dear audience hyper secretion of gland is nothing but increased workload of the glands hyper secretion means increased workload of gland due to increased workload of gland there is hyperplasia of the gland hyperplasia of gland with increased number of with increased number of goblet cells as there is hyperplasia of the gland there is narrowing of bronchiole narrowing of bronchiole dear audience cigarette smoke is associated with hyper secretion of sub mucosal mucin secreting glands as hyper secretion is nothing but increased workload of the gland due to increased workload of the gland there is hyperplasia of the gland with increased number of goblet cells as there is hyper secretion of the mucin secreting glands there will be narrowing of the lumen of the bronchiole secreted mucin is accumulated in lumen of bronchiole and causes obstruction of bronchiole dear audience we are talking about the role of cigarette smoke in chronic bronchitis dear audience it has been suggested that vagus nerve stimulates the mucus secreting glands and causes hyper secretion cigarette smoke stimulates vagus nerve so hyper secretion of mucin and due to increased mucin there is blockage of bronchiole blockage of lumen of bronchiole dear audience again cigarette smoke stimulates vagus nerve hyper secretion of mucin 
and blockers of glomerular bronchial by leucine. Dear audience, now come to roll up infection. Roll up infection in chronic bronchitis is secondary. Roll up infection in chronic bronchitis is secondary. Dear audience, cigarette smoke interferes with the ciliary movement of the lining epithelium of the bronchus. Cigarette smoke interferes with ciliary movement of lining epithelium a bronchial tree. As there is interference with the ciliary movement of lining epithelium of the bronchial tree, there is chance of infection. Sounds of infection. As there is sounds of infection in the bronchial tree, this infection is associated with acute exacerbation of chronic bronchitis. This infection is associated with associated with acute exacerbation of chronic bronchitis. Again, role of infection in chronic bronchitis is secondary. Cigarette smoke interferes with the ciliary movement of the lining epithelium of bronchial tree. Dear audience, now come to histopathology of chronic bronchitis. Histopathology reveals enlargement of mucin secreting glands. with increased number of goblet cells. In addition to this, there is mucus plague in lumen of bronchiole. Dear audience, if anybody suffers from chronic bronchitis for long time, what may be the consequence? Consequence of chronic bronchitis. Dear audience, if this is the terminal bronchial TB and it is the respiratory bronchial RB, and this is the alveoli. If there is mucus plug here in chronic bronchitis, distal to this occlusion, there will be abnormal and permanent dilatation of the air spaces, and this is known as emphysema of lung. So, consequence of chronic bronchitis is emphysema of lung. Dear audience, today I have told you about the chronic bronchitis. It is one of the chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It is characterized by persistent cough and expectoration for at least 3 months in at least 2 consecutive years. There is role of cigarette smoke and infection in chronic bronchitis. Cigarette smoke is associated with hypersecretion of the mucin of submucosal glands. 
and there is hyperplasia of the glands with increased number of goblet cells. Ultimately, there is narrowing of the lumen of the bronchiole and blockage of the lumen of the bronchiole by mucus plaque, by metaplasia, by inflammation, by fibrosis, etc. There is roll up infection, and roll up infection is secondary. Cigarette smoke is associated with the interference of the ciliary movement of the lining epithelium, so there is chance of infection, and this infection is associated with the acute exacerbation of chronic bronchitis. Dear audience, histopathology reveals hyperplasia of the gland and enlargement of the gland with increased number of goblet cells, narrowing of the lumen of the bronchiole, and area of squamous metaplasia. If anybody suffers from chronic bronchitis, what may be the consequence of chronic bronchitis? The consequence is emphysem of lung distal to the narrowing of the lumen of the bronchiole. Dear audience, this is all about chronic bronchitis briefly today up to this thanks all.